wonderful show. The exhibition is called Planets. So you will see large works of all the planets, and uh, Nick will go to the talk about the details of this. But first of all, I'd like to thank Tom for these wonderful artworks that we could hang here in the gallery and in the back. And it's really great to have uh, these works here. And there were quite a few surprises as well. And we have Nick Tsudas here. Nick Tsudas is one of the top main famous curators here in Sydney. He used to uh, be the director of Art Space in, in Sydney. He is a lecturer at uh, Sydney College of the Arts for professional practices and he is a freelance curator. He did recently the big exhibition in Parramatta where Liz Day and many others were part of and the exhibition down in the Nick, And thanks for, uh, for inaugurating the, the show tonight. That's very lovely. Uh, look, it's a real honour uh, to be invited to, um, to launch uh, Tom's new exhibition. You know, it's, it's, for me it's really special when you engage with, with artists who become friends and you embark on a, uh, I think, a lifelong relationship with them. And, and, when you see their, their creative processes, you know, uh, at, uh, that surround us today, you sort of say, wow, you know, it's, it's more than a friendship, it's a journey of knowledge. And I think sort of that's what something that is happening in this particular environment today. Um, the planets, which this project sort of deals with, and we heard Holtz in the background a moment ago, have for a long time fascinated all thinkers, all mankind, for eternity, from Copernicus to Galileo to Holtz, who we've been listening to. Uh, spiritualists uh, have found solace and knowledge in the planets' movements and from, the, uh, from their relationship to each other. Uh, astrologers have been informed by the patterns and constellations providing meaning for their, for their lives and our lives and our past, present and future and have given insight, rightly or wrongly, into the characters, uh, cultures, relationships and lives. Planets leave traces. You, we recognise these planets through the light they emit and the traces that they leave in the night sky. And these traces have captivated astronomers, photographers and artists alike. Their light registering the intrinsic difference and particularity in, in the cosmos. Um, and, and it's not, the planets have sort of like, it's not just Copernicus and so on, but when we start thinking about it, you know, in popular culture, uh, we've got David, David Bowie's Life on Mars, you've got uh, Darth Vader's theme from uh, the Holtz uh, that was based in Star Wars that was based on Mars. Damien Hirst sent an artwork uh, 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 to Mars in 2003, unfortunately, never got there, disappeared along the way. Uh, but, but by comparison, we've got uh, Stephen Little, who's at the back, who's the head of the National Art School Painting Department. He sent a, a, a very fine, fine paint, uh, small painting to Mars as well uh, on, a, on a NASA uh, a journey of spirit and opportunity in 2003, and it actually arrived. In, uh, sorry, 1993, and it arrived in 2004. Oh, with all that power in England, sort of power, Stephen Little here at the National Art School just made it, you know, which is, yeah. which is fantastic. <laughs> And so, so that fascination has, has not only entered our philosophy, uh, our ideas makers, it, you know, but it's actually informed all our musicians, our, 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 the way that we shape our lives and the way that we think ourselves and the way we construct ourselves in our societies through the eons uh, 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 of, of all societies. Planets have played a big part of not only sort of registering how we understand our lives, but how we also fictionalize our lives, and for, and in this in this sense, you know, sort of like what Tom has done, and and thinking about the light that sort of like emerges from these planets, and that's something that has really fascinated me for a long time, because we look up at the night sky, we see these planets in the distance, and we realize we're looking at very old light, because light takes a long time to sort of like like come to come to us light years away and we look at the, these stars, these planets and we realize we, we're looking at or walking going back in time some, somehow 
and what we're seeing is something sort of like well and truly beyond the evolution of our societies and, and that, that, that idea uh, is, is really quite fascinating but then when you actually think about, about that light and how we acknowledge those, those planets and we start thinking about, you know, we, 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 we look at the patterns and, uh, that, they, uh, that light emits and the, how it's coded and refracted and diffracted and we understand sort of the, 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 our scientists understand the difference between planets through colour somehow sort of something starts registering here because, because Tom amply uses a hell of a lot of colour he uses a whole lot of refraction and diffraction and so like, like somehow he's splitting, he's splitting light, he's splitting uh, the source of, of, of the, that these planets generate and what we're looking at is some sort of like light code and he's, he's not sort of dealing with, with fact or fiction he's not dealing with, with facts in reality he's actually fictionalizing, he's splitting the truth of representation he's fictionalizing the account of that light and what we're looking at is some sort of facto fiction uh, that's, that's represented that, that these may be Mars or Jupiter or, 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 or something or one of the other, uh, Pluto or one of the other planets or indeed uh, Earth, Earth if we were standing a long way away. And, and in that splitting of, 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 of fact and, and, and fiction or truth and, and, and its imaginings, we, we have this, 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 this amazing play of colours or diffraction of colours and we can understand somehow, somehow this is it, it not, no longer being a, a, a rule or representation. We seem to understand a lot more about the play or the movement of colour or the way that, that it bounces around. And if we think about old light, old, you know, the planets, uh, our recognition of the planets being old light, somehow there seems to be a greater truth present in these than any formal representation of, of uh, uh, the coherent fiction about the planets has been one of science's greatest successes and produced beliefs that have become truths despite the fact that no one has actually directly experienced another planet. The planet, planet uh, is Tom's attempts to create a coherent fiction in painting of the planets. The direct experience of the planets is derived from traditional pre-scientific experiences of the planets. The lines, curves and shapes come from paths uh, uh, the planets take when mapped on the surface of our Earth. The colours, not the rigorously coherent false colours of scientific renderings, but taken from photographs of the actual planets. So we, we're looking at, at, at some, the colours uh, is emerging from a mediation, something that's sort of like, like that, that is between us, the planet's time, and, and mediated through, through photography. Painting, however, allows a peculiar effect whereby a surface can have depth and space. Painting allows the space of the planet to be pre-dimensional, beyond systematic representation and not perspectival. Painting also allows, uh, 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 also allows of the individual fantasy to remain the direct aesthetic effect of the presence of the work rather than appear as a conceptual argument, so that each painting is, is a cosmic fiction generator, like the ancient myths and the contemporary figure, the planet itself. So in this sense, Thomas provides us with, with not only sort of like a wonderful uh, uh, set of paintings which render uh, some uh, re render some, some some fictions about the universe that surround us through the planets uh, and represents them in colour and move movement, but he allows us what I think what what all the philosophers, all the the the, the people who've studied the planets to imagine life beyond ourselves. And I think that's actually one of the really wonderful things as I've walked around this evening looking at, at the work that, that and, and that's something quite extraordinary for art to be able to achieve. Something fantastic that, that you know, sort of like, like that, that I think only art has a capacity to imagine ourselves beyond ourselves. And that these things, these things that surround us for me, do that. So, thank you very, thank you very much, Tom, for providing me with that experience.
and thank you very much uh, for, for creating a, a really quite extraordinary set of paintings that hopefully will generate a lot of conversation and sort of uh, allow us to experience what lies beyond. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much, and I will be invited Tom to uh, give an artist talk this Saturday with an artist talk and breakfast. We have been uh, doing those kind of breakfasts recently uh, several times, and they worked out really well. It's really lovely, and it's going to be in the back. And the back, if you haven't been there yet, in backstage, it's a very lovely space to actually do this. So it's a lot of space, and it's a very lovely space. Um, and then the planets orbiting around us, I think that's going to be a real experience. I just don't want anyone, I say something mysterious <laughs> about the planets. An artist should never say anything clear, only things mysterious about their work. And I just want to remind you all that planetos is the Greek for wanderer. And planetos, the heavens are filled with wanderers. And uh, it reminds us that the, our cosm the cosmic world is one of a very strange place. It's always more than we ever can imagine. So even though I painted the planets, the cosmos is still there, waiting for us to imagine even more. That's all I've got to say. Thank you. How are you doing? <laughs>